Hey, shalom. When we start off by giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akarpadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Church of Great Millstone, and shalom to the sincere and hopeful alike, you brothers out there that's prophesying in the true name and in the true do- doctrine. All right, the house of David, about the times we're in the head of two for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, this Kodash Paya, and um. This lesson is going to be, you know, basically cast your burdens unto the Lord. You know, cast your, your cares unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, put your, your, your troubles and give your, 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 your burdens unto Him. You know, do what you got to do to the best of your ability. Continue praying, continue ministering, prophesying, being charitable. Helping the brothers, being there for them, right? Doing your lessons, you know, so on and so forth. And, you know, like it says in Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, hold your peace and the Lord shall fight for thee. You know, because we're constantly, like the brother, there was a brother that made a video. He was speaking about the many fold temptations. You know, we, we, we gone, we've been gone through so many temptations. You know, when you look back, you know, even before we came into this truth, you know. But, um, see, we understand that we're being tempted. We understand that, you know, with the book of, what Paul said, you know, in, in Ephesus, you know. Um, in the book of, um, in the scriptures where it says that we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. We understand these things are temptations, you know what I mean? Just like when people out here, when Jake, we so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians, which are the biblical Israelites, you know, they don't understand that when a woman got a man, but she's talking, and that's temptation. See, Jake, they're like, oh, well, you know, what your man got to do with me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that's off, man. You know, that's leading to your, 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 your destruction. And when we come into this truth, we learn who we are. We learn about the law, statutes, and commandments. We learn about the holy days. We learn about what's righteous in the land of wickedness. So when we go through our trials and tribulations, you know, it's that more, it's that much more worse, right? Because we are aware from whence it cometh. You see? Now this is the book of Psalm. But we can't take matters into our own hands because you got a lot of dudes in this world. They want to get guns. They want to, you know, they, 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 they want to rob stores. They want to fulfill the lust of the flesh and wickedness in the society, you know, not caring or taking heed that the Lord uh, 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 forbid doing things like that, man. You know, we're supposed to trust in the process. Trust in the Most High. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. You know, so cast your burden upon the Most High, man. Cast your burdens, you know, and, and cry and pray unto him. You know, whatever you're going through, you know, just constantly talk to him. You know, especially if you got his name. You know, that's 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 an honor. That's a blessing. You know, not the, the majority of the world, they don't know the Lord's name. And if they do, they don't like to know the name and know and believe in the in the in the truth, in the true doctrine. You know, that's you know, you can't you can't neglect that. You know what I mean? So, you know, trust in the process because the Lord is is orchestrating everything. Right? Let's get another scripture real quick. This is the book. This is the book of St. Luke. Chapter 18. Verse 7. It says... And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, thought he bear along with them, right? Because 
we know that we are still in captivity. You know, we understand, you know, the prophecies written in the scriptures. You see? So what? That that's what makes us cry day and night unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we are aware of righteousness. So when we're surrounded by wickedness and you know, just hearing the filthy conversations and seeing things that vexes our spirits and understanding we we working for our enemies. You know what I mean? On top of knowing the promises and what's coming is like, you know, we want to get out of here ready, man. We want to go home. We want righteousness to be restored on earth, man. We need Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. We need Yahweh Shah to come back. You know, so we can get the hell up out of this hell, man. There's this this way of, of barely surviving. You know? And things are just getting worse. You know? And 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 like the scriptures say, at the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Eating, marri- people giving in a marriage, partying, you know, fulfilling the lusts of the flesh. You know, laws being passed of just more wickedness, you know, more uh, of restrictions, more hell and, and, and regulations is, 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 you know, coming upon this place, man. Babylon the Great, aka America, and the rest of the world. You know, but we cry day and night, you know, because, you know, we're speaking good things in bad places, man. We're trying to be righteous in hell, in the land of forsaken. You know? I got my blind spots. What's up with my mirrors? It's a lot here. You know, so which cried day and night unto him, though he bear them, bear along with them, right? Cause hey, we gotta go through these trials and tribulations. Though it may feel long, though it may seem like it's tearing, you know, but that's part of patience, part of suffering, it's part of growing, it's part of learning, gaining experience. You know, being se- becoming seasoned, you know, as we continue in this truth, right? But, hey, we know that, that the Lord is near, man, you know? Matter of fact, let the, the scriptures say, through much tribulation we shall enter in the kingdom of heaven. Right? This is uh, Psalms chapter 6 verse 8. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord have heard the voice of my weeping. So, there you go, man. And who you weeping to? You know, we don't... You know, these people, when they lose their jobs, they lose their their, their car, they lose their, their, you know, their finances, you know, their children's taken away, you know, because these things are going to come in, in, in a more intense fashion as far as martial law as far as famines as far as losing things losing everything right these people are crying unto their family members they're crying unto their managers their boss their you know what i'm saying but what we're crying unto the lord you know what i mean fuck this place man to hell with this place we don't want to be in this place man you know we were brought over here against our fucking will you know there ain't, there ain't no love here, man. That's why John said, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Because there ain't nobody fucking showing no type of consideration, you know, uh, 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 con- uh, uh, unto the Lord, man. You know? They're not seeking the Lord. They're not understanding that it's, it's him doing this, man. You know, seek him while he may be found, man. Call upon him while he is near. You know, he's doing all this, man. You know? The Lord, uh, uh, um, hey, man. It's like it, but it's like you know, people want to laugh at you, but we're crying unto our power. You niggas is crying in, unto men. You know that can't. Look at what happened during the first lockdowns, 2020. You know who is there to save you, right? The Lord hears the cries, you know, of of the righteous. Now he ain't hearing the cries of everybody, man. And everybody ain't crying unto him anyway. As a matter of fact, let me get, um, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 28. Then shall they call upon me, right, when all hell is, 
is hitting full throttle. Then they shout like the like the scripture saying Ezekiel. Then shall they know that a prophet was among them. You see, you niggas don't want to get this word now. You don't want to get take heed. You don't want to consider your latter end. But when the end does come, it's already it's, it. That's it. The doors of repentance is closing. The train left, nigga. All right. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Because if you fear the Lord, you're going to do that which is pleasing in his sight. So that way you can be found worthy when the Son of Man comes, man. Yahweh Shah is coming for vengeance. He ain't coming to forgive everybody giving out hugs and cotton candies, bro. You know, he's coming back to fuck shit up and to, to bring deliverance upon the elect. That's what? Uh, um, rising up early, you know, getting this word early and rehearsing these righteous acts early and doing what they got to do from the apostles on down to all the men that sign and crying and prophesying in the true name and the true doctrine all throughout the four corners of the earth, you know? Because what? This world got to go out through the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. Pursuing the same Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. You see, and right here proves that the Lord ain't going to hear everybody's cry. You know, because the majority is going to cry unto uh, different names of God's anyway, man. Which is the heavenly father, Yahweh. He is, by Hashem means in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls JC, Right? His real name is Yahweh Shah. He is the deliverer. Because he's coming back to deliver his elect, man. You know? The 144,000, starting with the men and the 140, uh, uh, then one third. You know, pursuing the women, the children. You know? And this is why we sigh and cry as well, man. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn, right? So, during the time of King Solomon... You know, when we was, you know, when things was at peace, you know, right? We was rejoicing, man. You know, but what? When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. People are mourning, man. People are, are there's riots, protests. See, but that's not, that's not what we're doing. You know, we're not going out there protesting and, you know, we're not taking matters into our own hands. You see? Because what? Where where we understand that we gotta stay spiritual right now. We gotta wait. The Lord said, wait ye upon me. Right? Salakia. Hey, so you know, brothers just gotta have faith, man, you know. We um we understand that these things are temptations. We understand that, you know, it's trials, tribulations, you know, hey man. We're, we're, you know, we, we have Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. You know, if the Lord is with us, who could be against us? You know what I mean? It's going to feel hard sometimes because, you know, we in the flesh. You know, but we got to cast, you know, all our, all our cries unto Him, man. You know, the scriptures say the, the, the prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds, roughly paraphrasing, you know, uh, let me get, this is the book of Acts, it's like here, this is the book of Acts, chapter 14, we're going to read verse 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. So that's our goal. Our goal is to be found worthy to enter into the kingdom. You know, we're fighting for that crown. We're fighting for that righteous, holy crown. Not a corruptible. We're not fighting for anything that's here. Because everything here, first of all, everything here is going to be destroyed. It's already destroyed. Alright? Just put that, keep that in mind and secondly it's it's all wickedness everything here 
Scripture say the earth is given unto the hands of the will. As the king is, so is the people. So is the story. You know, we don't want to be partakers of that. We want to be pure, holy, separate, set apart. You know what I mean? We're set apart from this place, man. And all wickedness that, that is promoted wherever it, it's at on this earth. You know, because the Lord is about to bring that real restoration. So, then, hey, man, like it tells you, Jeremiah 16 and 16, we're fishers of men, and then we're going to be hunters. But wait upon the Lord to grant that, you know? Um... So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, keep your head up. Stay prayed up. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.